Hey guys, I am trying to shoot a vlog this morning. <clears throat> I guess it's probably this afternoon at this point. I had a couple clients this morning. Hi Tammy, hi Kate. And um, they were super sweethearts. And right now I am working on getting all of my artwork ready for the festival. And also to get ready for Sneaker Con this Saturday, 12 to 6. I will be at Sneaker Con at the Dayton Convention Center doing henna. Uh, just henna there. Um, and y'all should come out and see me. <laughs> um, and then next week, uh, Sunday and Monday for Labor Day, I'll be at Holiday at Home. And that's where I will have my art booth. And I'll be doing henna also. So this booth will be at Holiday at Home. And I believe that's 10 to 6, Sunday and Monday. Um, so the shop will be closed on Monday. Not this coming, but the one after. Yeah. So, on uh, Labor Day. Um, so this is what the booth is looking like. Um, as you would be looking at the booth, um, my henna station here. The client sits there. I sit there. There's all my henna supplies. There's my sign. Let me know what you think, if the sign is good, what um, could be changed, anything. That wall will have art on it, plus the two skulls down here. Large format paintings in the corner that you can flip. More paintings and large format paintings, the back wall. And then this, there will be a table here. I think it will be a different tablecloth, though. Um, with trays and coasters and a couple skulls here. There's my little muskrat skull. Hey guys, so pretty. I love that one. I love Rosie too. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well there, so there's Rosie. She was the first skull I ever did. There's the muskrat skull. This one's called Muskrat Love. Here is Aurora Borealis. This is Buffalo. And that is Delft the Blue. She is a deer. Anyway, they're all coming with me. The table with the trays and coasters are coming with me. These paintings will actually be in this display so people can flip through the smaller paintings and touch and feel and look at them. And that will actually be behind that table. So this will actually be the left-hand side wall here, like right behind this table. Hopefully that makes sense, but that's what that wall will be. So as you're looking at the booth, it'll be here. So I'm getting going through and making sure all the paintings are tagged, priced, signed. I have a bad habit of not signing my work, so I have to sign everything in here. So I've been working on that. Um, it looks like a wreck back here, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I have to go home and mix up some fresh henna tonight for sneaker con. And then um, I've ordered some more for... Um, holiday at home, a really special batch, so I'm excited about that. Nice, fresh, natural henna. Um, this here, this is the piece that I did during the eclipse, the glass piece. So you can see there's just like tons of glitter through it. And I really like it. The, the um, bronze foil is nice. So i got to be careful because this is a glass piece, but you can see how transparent it is, like with the light shining through it. i got to be careful. So that's that. Let's see, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, I want to show you. Last night I stopped in at Artisan Gallery in Town and & Country, and I found a new notebook because I'm a sucker notebooks isn't she beautiful though and the cool thing is I already had the magnet that matches it <laughs> I just love her so that's that and the inside is just gorgeous so this is going to be my notebook for keeping track of all my paintings at the festival well everything at the festival really but isn't that beautiful look at that yeah I love that Ah, I love this, and the company, I love this company, it's, oh, it just started raining, no, there it goes, I knew it was going to happen, my back's been killing me, um, the company is Papaya, 
www.papayaart.com. I love everything they do, pretty much everything. This bag, this is a papaya bag. It's all made out of recycled materials, but it's just gorgeous. The swallows all over it. Love it. I've had that for a while. I've had that magnet for a long time. So now I have my notebook that matches. I just love her. And let's see. I've got makeup out here that I want to do reviews on. Um, I just got new this Tarte lip scrub. And let's see what else. I just got the Eclipse. What made me lose my mind. I decided I absolutely had to have a blue lipstick. Dark blue lipstick. And I want a dark green lipstick too. <laughs> but I think this fall I'm probably going to be wearing weird lipsticks. So look out for that. Um, but this is Smashbox Be Legendary Liquid Metal. And it's a metallic blue called Iced Out. That's what it looks like right there. Not cool. And then there's swatches of the Alchemist palette, right? That is under there. So I wanted to tell you guys how I've been getting along with that guy because I love it. I love this palette probably better than any palette I've ever had. And it's only like highlighty shades. <laughs> but I mean, it's just so much you can do with this that you don't realize you can. Um, the sample, my 100 point sample was uh, Glam Glow Glow Starter. I want to go over that. Um, I want to go over the Milk Makeup Cool Water um, that I got maybe a month ago or so. And I'm not sure. Cool wa cooling Water. I want to talk about that in the video. I want to talk about the Tarte Friction Stick. That's at home, but um, it's a, basically a facial cleanser but it has exfoliator in it also and it comes in a stick form like that which I dig um my client Bonnie brought me a couple of things that I wanted to go over also so she brought me well one of them was a tart was it tart yes sweet tart uh fragrance um and I think I've already used it all like already just because I like the smell of it a lot so I'll already tell you that's a great review like that's a fantastic for if you like very sweet fragrances it's a good one a lot of people don't like sweet fragrances so I, I get that but if you do this tart sweet tart one sweetheart sweetheart I don't have to find it again if I don't um, so she brought me a sample of that and I absolutely loved it um, she also brought me a little baby lights camera lashes how cute is that because I've never tried this so I'm gonna give that a shot but I'm trying to get through this Dior show one. I don't use mascara every single day, so but I gotta get that used up. And I, I will say I love the Dior Dior show mascara, but it's incredibly expensive if you get the full size. So I can't. I don't know if I can justify the price of the full size Dior mascara Dior show, but it's good. And she also brought me. The Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner. Hopefully you can see that. And it's a nice dark black. Um, so I'm going to be going over that also. So thank you, Bonnie, for bringing me cool stuff to review. Um, I'm going to try to do more like makeup reviews and maybe other kinds of reviews too. Just regular real life stuff. If there's anything you're interested in having me try, let me know. Um, yeah, I'm still getting used to my bangs. I don't know if you guys like them or what, but I do. I'm just getting used to them. Um, yeah, that's about all. It's just like raining like crazy now, so that's kind of a bummer. But at least it didn't happen yesterday when everybody was out, you know, to see the eclipse. At least it's happening today when it's not, you know, a big monumental event. So that's nice for the people that were out there. Did you guys go out and watch the eclipse and everything let me know about it leave it in the comments anyway i'm gonna let you go that's a vlog for this afternoon i might come back to you a little bit later i've been trying to play around with a new editing software uh, for videos so we'll see what i can come up with with that um but until then i'll see you guys bye